Uh, as part of our Fix 543 uh, campaign uh, and efforts, uh, we are working with Ethan Maria Vota uh, and other uh, community supporters of Zoom and Victory Schools uh, to make sure those models of equity, those unique Nevada models of equity for English learners uh, and low-income students uh, are preserved and protected. Uh, first, in terms of the big picture, a little bit of irony uh, in you know, those last hours of the legislative session, uh, the sausage making uh, that was going on uh, to produce uh, this bill. Uh, a bill that was supposed to deliver greater equity for Nevada students is actually potentially compromising proven equity programs. Uh, and so uh, as a member of the 178 uh, task force during the last uh, interim, um, you know, we got to take a look and, and you'll see some of APA's uh, numbers on, uh, you know, proposed rates. And what I'd say for the Nevada experience in Zoom and Victory School, in particular Zoom, uh, which has been reviewed and proven effective, uh, that one plus one does not equal two in Zoom schools. One plus one equals three in Zoom schools. And that's because the menu of services on their own don't have the same level of impact that the cumulative uh, you know, services that are provided that help transform school climate and help transform school culture and help build the identity of those school sites and those school communities as Zoom schools. That's the magic of Zoom. And we think the magic of victory. So when we move forward, yeah, we need to figure out uh, how to get additional services uh, to English learners uh, and at-risk students uh, who aren't in Zoom or victory schools. But we can't compromise the successful program programs of Zoom and Victory Schools. We can't water them down. We cannot go backward on equity in order to go forward. We should start from where we're at and go forward uh, with equity, uh, more with the 178 model. Um, thank you very much. Thank you.